Oh yeah, shoot, 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 shoot. Zoom in. Okay, right. So uh, this is uh, Leonardo Hooper. Welcome to the Cataclysm: Dark Days Ahead. Time is ticking. If you'll uh, direct your attention over here, this number ticking all by itself when I'm not doing anything. So we need to we need to move. Um, and I wasn't sure that I was going to play Leonardo Hooper again, but uh, here we are back because there is an obvious mission for us to. Oh god damn, you're still alive. Well, we're not going back for Raoul. Uh, it hasn't been a few days yet anyway, but I'm just, I'm surprised that they're still alive. No, the obvious mission for us today is to get some dog food. Because there were dogs here-ish. We saw them. And I believe there's a pet food shop, a pet shop. Pet supply store. Okay, it's not, it's not the most accessible. Well, if we come in, like, from here up the rear of this house and the hardware store, we can maybe find a, uh, a way in that's relatively clear. Maybe. I don't know. What are we wielding? Steak knife? Okay. Let's work on that first of all. Can we disassemble this? It's the diary. Can we disassemble the... Uh, no, the thing in front of me. Mm, nope. Would it be on construction? Oh god, I forget what it's called in construction. Dis something? No. Um, no, not take apart. What would it be? You can place a bunch of stuff, you can build a bunch of stuff, you can board a bunch of stuff, you can... It's something something furniture, right? Deconstruct simple terrain slash furniture. I cannot deconstruct the thing I wanted to, okay. I could smash the thing, couldn't I? I believe what I'm looking at is a coat rack, which I think I think would make a uh, a long stick if that's what we wanted. A long pointy stick, one long stick, but I think I'd need to smash it apart. We can probably find a shrub out here or something that we can uh, destroy instead. Yeah, we're bound to be able to over here, right? Uh, do I see one? No, I think these are quite tall trees. Uh, we need something that's good for smashing in the first place, because the knife is not going to cut it. We need to, we need something with bash rather than something with um, a stab or slice or whatever. Pierce, you know. There are rocks. We could, could we wield a rock? Would that be good for bashing? Also, I don't see any sticks. Is there more forest over There's more forest over here. So let's just have a little wander. Oh, there's a body here we haven't checked. You had an e-ink tablet PC. Doesn't fit in any pocket, though. I mean, that's the problem. I have, uh... We're not uh, weak-boned, are we? We're, no, we're, we're clumsy. Okay. Previous character had weak bones, but this one does not. That's what we need. In fact, right next to it as well. Yeah, both things we need are right here. So I'm going to wield the stick. Dropping the steak knife, I guess, for the time being. Remember that that's there. And smash this. And then we're going to wield a long stick instead, dropping that. Oh, we want the steak knife too, though. Uh, let's, like, haul everything here. Steak knife, you're coming with me. How much time is passing per step? Like two seconds? Yeah, it's a bit clumsy, but it'll get us back there. Not going to waste too much time. Where is the house? Just north here. They have changed the haul menu. I think now you don't haul everything that you cross over. I think you haul from where you started. Okay. We're in. Uh, and we can stop hauling. So, I want to, if possible, create a, not necessarily a long pointy stick, but uh, something like a knife spear would be great. Can we do a spear shaft at all? I don't think we can do a spear shaft. 
We can do a long pointy stick, a crude steel spare, a knife spare, a makeshift knife spare, which we have a long stick for. Oh, but we haven't got the right kind of knife. Huge kitchen knife. Hunting knife. You'd need nails, and you'd need duct tape. I think we can probably find those. Spike on a stick is what... Yeah, that's the thing. You, will you accept duct tape? Yeah, duct tape. Great, so we have everything we would need for a spike on a stick. Uh, it's probably what we're going to try and create. So is there any... Duct tape, ideally. Um, <clears throat> something else. Good assortment of tools there, but... Garbage bags, zipper bags, flashlight, cardboard roll... Duct tape! Duct tape! Only 29, though. I think we needed 50. We'll grab that. Yeah, I was looking for duct tape, and what it needed to be looking for was cardboard roll with duct tape on it. Uh, meanwhile, time is passing, Tom. Are we likely to see any more here at all? It's beginning to look not very likely. Horseradish, hard seltzer... No, that's food. We're good, we're hydrated, we're... We're fed enough. And there's only this room that we have access to. Which I don't think is going to contain any more. Okay, so we've got we've got some supplies. Is it enough? Is it enough? It is not enough. Why? Why isn't it enough? Because we lack the rest of the duct tape we would need. Have twenty nine. Need fifty. Okay, likely to find duct tape anywhere nearby, or should we think of different options here? Because we could do cordage, leather lace, long string, heavy duty thread. Oh, what do we get? What do we get for disassembling various bits of crap around the place? Like, say the pillowcase. I said, hey, let's disassemble something. Pillow would get you cotton balls and cotton patches. This would get you cotton scraps, cotton sheets, and one short plastic zipper. No. One short string and a cotton patch. I'm not seeing anything that would give me uh, lots and lots and lots of long string. Check the bedroom. Maybe something here will get me long string. Need tools with long with cutting or something. Okay, that's fine. Copper wire. I see. Ooh, clockworks is an item. You could d disassemble a pocket watch and get clockworks and gold. That sounds useful. I don't know what you can make with 36 yarn. You can disassemble some mittens to get 36 yarn. Is that good enough? Like, uh what I want to do. Spike on a stick. Hey, whiskey, how's it going? Can you do yarn? 300? No, okay. Alright, so we're still looking for something. Uh, what I'm going to do instead, then, is my... Rather than becoming a uh, spike on a stick, it's going to become a long, pointy stick instead. Which I'm going to wield. If I'm not already. And it's a shame that we can't use the steak knife, but we'll leave that there. What other cutlery did we have here? I, I brought the steak knife with me. There's an exacto knife. There's uh, various nothing. Butter knives. Paring knife. Steak knives. This was a steak knife, right? Steak knife. Yeah, okay, good. We've got plenty of those. It's a shame because now we're not the butler with a knife because we are wielding a pointy stick instead. Uh, another stream, yeah. And it's going okay today. I'm 
less physically tired than I was the other day. So that's great. Still against the clock here. I haven't even picked up any rocks or anything, have I? No, not that they would help me anyway, because what's my throwing? Uh, zero. Okay. We could train it up before attempting this, but... Also, we should drive, because it's quite a distance. Should we drive? And if I say we should drive, should we drive around, or...? Around is quite far. I'm going to walk. It's not that far, really. I'm going to regret saying that, aren't I? Uh, speaking of, yeah, we'll go this way, because the, uh, the road connects down here. This is not where the dogs were. The dogs were on the, the next entrance up. Oh, I also see a Siamese kitten. Where's that? Out there. If we can find cat food, then maybe we can also get a kitten. That's the plan for today. That's why I've continued playing the butler with a knife character. Because I, 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 I remembered there was a pet shop on the map. And we'd also seen dogs. So I figured let's go get some dog food. Slimes? Where? There? Uh, not, a, not, not aware of me. They are hostile. Black blob of viscous goo oozing across the ground like a blob of living oil. They're living kind of close to me. I see a big slime as well. They are all up there. 40 something slimes. They are all they're all there. And this is what is this? Earth ramp down into a slime pit. Right. I know nothing about that. I, I have no idea how scared of that I should be. They're not that observant, I know that much, so we can safely navigate around them. But I do I need to keep an eye on my uh like settings on the right here at all times, like can I see anything that will be a threat? Because as with um, real-time turn progression still being on, we still have safe mode off. Which means I also need to know, like, is a is a chihuahua a threat? Is a cottontail rabbit a threat? German Shepherd? Maybe. Like, the dogs can be, right? So let's just give them distance. Uh, Bobcat. Bobcat, Bobcat, Bobcat. Uh, ignoring... Yeah, the dogs... The dogs are aware of me. Where's this Bobcat? It is not a serious threat to humans, but it can be aggressive when threatened. We're not going to threaten it. We're not going to threaten it. A-OK. -okay, everything's fine. If we check that body... I see my... Fuel tracks. Probably not, right? You had a smartphone. You know what? I don't actually have... A bag. I didn't properly check the house for a bag. So. Okay. Everything's safe for the time being. I do need a way to carry dog food and stuff back. Hopefully in town we can find like a carrier bag or something. I can just carry that back. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Zombie soldier. These are probably the ones that I lured out of... Yeah, they probably came south out of here. So you know what's probably the easiest thing to do? It goes way off track, because the uh, pet shop is here. So I want to come in from here. But what I want to do right now, I think, is loop around to the south. Or we could cut through, to the, uh, cut through the forest to the north. That's an idea, I might do that. Because the forest, being close to the forest also will give me plenty of cover. far away is this forest? Yeah, we're about in line with the uh, evac shelter now. 
easily lure one or two of the zombies away from the evac shelter. See if there's a bag for me in there. Zombie child, where? Okay, hasn't seen me. Are we dangerously close? I don't think we're too close. Ranged Axeman. Not observant enough to have seen me yet, but let's uh, make sure that we have even more distance between us. I think, I think it's safe. I think we're fine cutting through this uh, this forest here and getting out the other side where we only see scrolls, so we're good. Zombie medics, okay, a bunch of, uh, bunch of stuff because we're too close to the... Oh, that's right, we drew a bunch south out of there as well. So I need to thread the needle between the nursing home. That's not great. Just woke up, going to go put coffee on and stuff. BRB. Yeah, it's early there, isn't it? In uh, Canada. I'm sure Canada several times. In fact, we talked about this time before, right? Zombie medic. You are going to be problem, right? Are you armoured? No. Okay. No, I'm, I'm happy for you to be a little bit interested in me, zombie medic. That's fine. Um, bio operator. This armored soldier zombie is south of me, and I've got a long pointy stick. Right, that's uh great. Okay, that's um, bio operator. Yeah, we don't want that. Hell no. So we probably back off at this point. Zombie runner, are you aware of me? You are, are not. Now, where are you, zombie runner? Are you off this way? Yes. Okay. So I need to go north. Maybe can't get to the pet supply store without the car. Again, the drain taxman and the zombie child have not seen me, so hopefully when I get out the other side, that's still the case. It seems to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving it plenty of distance, so that's fine. Can we maybe try coming in from the south? We don't know that much about the south side of town. In terms of like what's there. Uh, okay, I wasn't watching where I was walking and walked across a boulder, I think. That's fine. It's fine. Just slows us down a little bit. But my eyes are mainly on the right side of the screen for a change, looking for threats, because safe mode's not going to warn me. Uh, okay, there's a structure here that I think obviously we've not seen inside of yet. It's just a boarded up derelict structure. Uh, perfectly safe. Fine place to retreat to if we need to. I think we looked at this and we know it's got zombies. 8.30 at the moment. I also like, um, yeah, you're over on the do, 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 the west coast there, the west side, British British Columbia, right? Etc. I think that's what. No, I know that's where British Columbia is. What does this icon mean? I believe it means horde of some description, or you know, it's a large group or it's a large monster. I have to remember that when I'm looking at my map, time is also ticking forward. I think. Uh, we're safe. Let's just continue. We know that yeah, if we if we see that road, then we've gone too far. Oversize oh, David's fine. They gave me a fright the first time I saw them because they show up in bright green on the minimap, and that's the same color as zombies typically. Tough zombie. You're at the gas station. Okay, so if we veer a little bit further over this way. Ah, oh, there's panicked persons. I don't see any actual threats. Where are you all? 
you're in that house. Which is fine. Because I don't need to use that house. I'm just trying to give plenty of room. And you're not going to attack me. It's like I can tell uh, by just looking from this distance. You seem to be right here. Right outside the pet supply store. Which suggests to me like the best thing for me to do might be to like work my way up these houses like that. Uh, after crossing somewhere like here. So I'm quite happy to do that. I'm quite happy to go further this way. And see if uh, Tough Zombie has seen me. Okay. But we can take on one Tough Zombie. No problem. Let's see if you have any friends. I don't think you do. Hey, would you like to... Um... You could stand on that rock, couldn't you? I don't know how many turns that uh, takes. 400. If you land on that, that's great. Uh, so yeah, like I say, hands off the keyboard. Time is ticking. For real. Every three seconds, that zombie's going to get a step closer, depending on its speed. Okay, we're not there yet. But as soon as you are... Shoot! Okay. Damn it! Okay. Ah, can I disengage from this goddamn grab? Um... I can't. It's a tough zombie. This has gone badly. This has gone so badly. Can I disengage? I can't get... I've got to stop trying. I am winning the fight. Uh, Wait, have I lost... Oh no, I've dropped it, right? Uh, no, wield, 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 wield. God damn, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Long pointy stick. Uh, you are too weak to wield the long pointy stick with only one arm. Okay, we need to disengage. We need to go. We need to we need to run. What happened to my other arm? My arms aren't even that bad. Oh, okay. You are fast too. Why are you so fast? What's the deal? What's your deal? What's your no, god damn it, what is your deal? Your deal is uh, that you're about as fast as me. Uh is there anything else I can wield? Like a weapon wise? Weapon wise? Uh 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 screwdriver. Fuck it. Stab him with a fucking Oh well. Leonardo Hooper. Ah. I don't know what to say about Leonardo Hooper. I was so That's throwing me the fact that you get disarmed. Uh, which isn't new, is it? Oh. Uh... Live by the knife. Or die with your stupid pointy stick. <laughs> 